Hey everybody, it's Derek with Middle Light CNC. Today we're going to use the Mega V2. We're going to cut a Telecaster guitar body out of Ambrosia Maple. We're going to start by surfacing this because we bought it two inches thick and we're going to plane it down to about 1.75 inch. Next we're going to put in a point cutting roundover bit and that's going to give a nice rounded edge around the top. Finally we'll switch over to a 7 16 end mill and we'll cut the pockets in the top face and then we'll contour it out. Now this machine has a spindle on it so you can fit all kinds of sizes all the way up to a half inch or technically 13 millimeter using the ER20 collet. So we're going to be getting pretty big using that 7 16 end mill but the machine will handle it. You'll see this one also has the vacuum bed option on it. We're not actually going to use that today because it's a thick piece of wood. That vacuum's not great at pulling down a thick piece of wood like this instead of for sheet wood. So here we have it screwed in at the edges to a spoil board, and then that spoil board is top clamped using some of the clamps from my premium clamp set. So let's get started on the project. I'm excited about it. Let's see how the machine does.
All right, guys, so we just finished that. Uh, we've got the fryer out here. I've got our tabs pretty good. So I may pull her out, but overall pretty happy with how it came out here. Uh, one thing we did do, we were using the 7 16 inch bit. Uh, we actually switched over to a quarter inch bit. Uh, two reasons, I think the 7 16 was a little much as it was getting way down there. And uh, the 7 16 we pulled was actually an old used one out of the mill. Uh, we used it for cutting a lot of aluminum, so it had kind of lived its life and didn't do as well in the maple as we would have liked. So we just switched to a quarter inch end mill and it's done really nicely. So uh, I'm going to see if I can pull this off and we'll show you what it's looking like now. All right, so we've got the guitar finished off the machine now. Uh, we'll probably do a couple things different. We talked about switching over on the bit. Uh, from here, we're probably going to just round over the backside using a sander or a router table so we don't have to flip it, like set up a flip jig and align this. Uh, we did not put all of the holes in the guitar. We got a DXF file off the internet for this guitar and we noticed that some of the components that we brought in for it uh, didn't quite match that. So we're just going to uh, mark those, spot drill them, and, and do them by hand. If everything had lined up on the DXF with the electronics and like the pick guard that we had received, we would have definitely let the machine spot all the holes for us, but that's not how it worked out. But the machine has done the majority of the work for us here, uh, so now it's just a matter of uh, the fun stuff. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, man? How do you like the guitar? I love it. It's a sweet axe. Uh, you're the one that made this thing? Well, the Mega V2 made it. Not this particular one, but another one in the Mega V2 line. Mm -hmm. But any of them could make something like this. So you can make one of these for me? I'm not going to make one for you, but if you want to get yourself a Mega V2, you can make a guitar, you can make anything you want with a Mega V2. If you've got ideas that you want to bring to life, if you're trying to make guitars, if you're trying to make parts for your business, if you're trying to make signs, get yourself a Mega V2, you're going to be able to bring it to life. What do you think? So you, so you want to put this one right here, okay. all right, and then your middle finger goes there, right. and then you add these three fingers at the bottom, and then you... Not exactly. But <laughs> 